to get a PhD, people spend four, five, sometimes even six years of their life really focusing on a problem. That I call it a laser focus. It's intense. It's probably more intense than anything else people will do in their life. But when you're done, you have to get back into the real world. You have to get a job, you have to eat every day and, and take care of all those attendant bills. You need something besides just getting hired. You need to actually have the overall set of skills to, we've used the term before, play in the playground with all the other folks. And so uh, Paul Mendez, my co, my co symposium organizer here, and I had conceived of this a while back and thought, you know, there's probably a need for this within the, within the ACS, and we hope we've found that. To the cynic who says, you've had a job for a long time, I'm looking for a job right now, what can you possibly offer me? The people that you, you claim, well, you've already had a job for a long time, those will be the people hiring you. Those will be the people with whom you work and for whom you work. And so you need to get to know how to talk to them, work with them, see what your interests are and theirs are and how they mesh. We're not only excited that we've got a symposium today, but we're very fortunate and we feel flattered that we have been okayed for turning this into an ACS symposium series book. That also is a big help because there were some corporate chemist friends of ours as well as government lab friends of ours who were not able to make it to the meeting today. They're still able to put in chapters and so we hope that by the end of 2014 we're going to have a book with a lot of breadth to it that has academic uh, understanding and, and viewpoints, corporate understanding and viewpoints as well as the government lab understanding and viewpoints. So we think we'll have a very good volume at the end of this.